Hello everyone, I hope you enjoyed the starting with a time lapse, if it worked, if not, there wasn't one. <laughs> uh, we've finished the second module and have space for the two spawners here and one spawner there, uh, if I ever find them. I've done some extra work on the stations in between um, the time lapse and now and we're gonna finish this off with um, placing a chest on either side and then running hoppers in this will be changed that the hoppers will face well, maybe that way I don't know I'll change it so that they can be I think I'll face them into that block which will be a chest and then run out of the chest into like a conveyor line and then build something back there where my horses which will process all the stuff because I want it turned into bone blocks for the skeletons and I want the leather turned into or the rotten flesh turned into leather and all sorts of stuff like that uh, what I'm doing now is I don't know exactly what drops will be hey no stop it that's the next train conductor I have to it's the gonna be the train conductor for this place at least for my train um i don't know all the drops that are going to end up in here oh let's modify this because we don't want the drops going out the side ow she's rude i'll have to sit in and pacify him and then I'll go and I'll turn off the farm and run it for like half an hour and we will see what drops come out. Um, I'll have to have like a junk system and then I plan in the space sifting sand. sand. And sift it. So we'll get bone, stroke, rotten flesh, feather, and ink sacks from this. The bone I'm gonna turn into bone meal and then bone blocks. Um because if I'm gonna transport it out from here, which I might, I don't think I will. It's better and I'm going to be building with bone blocks. I'm probably just going to set up another one of these systems. The string will stay as string. The rotten flesh uh, will become leather because we don't need rotten flesh. The feathers I will just store and then the ink sacks I will just store. Oh, just drinking some water when I do the dye factory I will use the same system to get both bone meal and ink sacks to be able to get all the dyes um, And then this, I don't know if I showed this, but the lanterns have one of these in receive mode underneath them. So I just flip and the whole, they all turn on. I was thinking of testing something down there is place stairs along the edge. Um, I'll do it on one side and then on the other because they might not try and uh, stop 
walking off the edge and it might ref revolutionize the thing make it just slightly faster because half a second saved now is far or well, half a second every spawn is like what 50 60, like a full minute i'd say on an hour long thing so i'll do this with both of them i'll be back once i know what goes in those chests and then we can lay out how many chests we're gonna need and i'll finish up placing those things over there and we are back i have sat here and ground this out to see what drops and i've cleared up the area so there's no longer stuff there and i've moved it to here um so that we can build properly because this area the building is done in it and i've done the same here I've checked what drops so now it's time to uh, swap that go how am i wanting to do this oh uh, let's use blocks for now uh, bone blocks will work because i can count them easily Uh, so let's start from this chest. We will have leather. Uh -uh, stop it. Leather, copper, drowned heads. I'm planning on just dropping off the zombie heads and any other drops that come from the zombies. So three from this chest. So one two three and then we've got copper bullets which is one bones but bone i want to go like this and i want to mill it which will give us water bone and bone meal And then bone blocks. Okay, so it's what da and bone blocks. So an extra that's another three. One, two, three. And then we go. How do we obtain this? Which is sifting sand. And then an extra, we need string, feather, and ink sack. So, string, feather, ink sack. So, we got drowned heads, copper, leather, uh, bullets, bone blocks, white dar string feathers and what was the uh, last one string feathers and ink sacks so that's what it's gonna look like for however many for everything that's produced here then next I'm gonna go and build this system out or start building because I need to expand out here we're gonna have something built so the system is turned off we're not gonna break it let's dig through back here <laughs> I don't oh no I do need that one 
but I don't need the rest of them. Let's just put all the drops into here. On the next one, I must <laughs> remember to clear it out. So. How this is going to work is I will place the chest and then hoppers into that chest. And then we can cover this up because we don't need access to the chest and I'm going to cover the hoppers with uh, oak trapdoors. Where did I put that thing? Oh, I do have it in my inventory. Uh, dark oak trapdoors and I'll carpenter workbench them. So, then we go belting. We want to belt. away for now or would I want to shoot maybe I want to shoot instead because I think Yeah, because uh -uh, I said go into my backpack. We only want um. go to I think at least there so I can get power into it and then we can do two shoots so that will drop straight out onto the belt and then we can belt this way Come on, belt. no why why are you place excuse me Dan oh Coco don't be so grumpy today there we go so that will, you can't even know to this, or kind of, um, that'll cover that one up. There. There, you can't even notice it. Um, so what this will do is take as fast as it can go into that chest because it's a double hopper and then straight out of the chest onto this line into the factory over here i will do the same on that side and then i'll figure out how to power it i will see you once that side's hooked up and I have flattened out more area to build machines back here. Okay, we are back and hopefully I have everything. So, I've run, nothing's powered yet. I'm gonna power it with windmills, but there's no need for you guys to see me figuring all that out. I've run all the way to here and then I stopped and we're gonna start 
on from two pair. Oh, seriously, Rain? Um, so let's get to business. Oh, I did have a pair of shears. I wanted another one. Okay. So we want bolts to bolting. No, not stones, gearing. We want machines. And then we want a stair and we'll use these trap doors because I'll have them and I go with the theme. So uh, those slabs are not actually needed. Let's grab some Ooh, I know what I I can finally have enough. To um, use casings as scaffolding, and then I can just use my wrench to pick them up. So we go, the wall will be there. So we want it a little bit away from the wall. Let's go to here. Hmm. I want a draw. And then for now we take the bolt will go out like that. That will be our water. So that will be the water, and then the lava will be on top of here. I've built this quite a few times already. Those don't look too bad. Damn it, the rain I cannot get rid of. Oh, whoa. Then let's place that there. And quickly grab a bucket of water. We want to put the bucket of water in first so that I don't know what quests I'm completing. The bucket of water in first so that when we place the bucket of lava and it flows, it makes cobble. So that is our cobble we need. Uh, So that's the cobble we need. And then we go out from there. And we want machines. Uh, bolting. Oh, I'm almost out of tunnels. That might be a problem. It is going to be a problem, what am I saying? <laughs> so that will mean the cobble will go in and come out as gravel. Let's increase this a little bit further. And then... You want to place two crushing wheels. And the crushing wheels will crush the gravel that comes out and gives us sand, however. The sand 
crushing is going to give us flint and clay as a bar product. So, I want to go, I think, I'll go like this. from here and that should mean sand will go that way and everything else will just go off here which we don't need in this factory so I will make a little burning cube where I'll place lava here and then around I it kind of always a waste but kind of not because I've got other places that produce this way better and I'm gonna have it again in the new iron factory the big big one so now we have sand Correct. Yes, so we have sand onto this line. Let's go machines. We don't have a sifter. Damn it. Okay, I will be back with a sifter. Uh, this filter to go on top of it and a whole bunch more funnels. Okay, we are back with a whole bunch more funnels, and we have a lovely sifter. Oh, go away, zombie. So, I want to place this here. Uh, no, I could place it. I could place it closer. Now oh, I have plenty of funnels. I'm hoping that this is smart and um, I don't have to filter what comes out of this. And it will take the sand, for, uh, do it, and then spit out the product. If it isn't, I'm going to have to use brass to get it out. So, now that that is done let's send rotten flesh that way uh, hmm how do we want to do this I only have one brass funnel left I think I want to split it Three ways. Go away, rotten flesh. Um, so we got belting. Oh, I did not want to put that away. And then we go gearing. So if I go like this. Oh, I did not want to. Rotate the correct way, damn it. There we go. Sometimes these things are weird. 
So if we place this here, it has... Oh, okay, that's... That's fine. We just move. This over that one. there and we will filter the sand like that I uh, know it's close but it doesn't actually affect it running then we go the way I want you to. So, if we place this in the middle now, we have a left, a right, and a straight ahead. So, the left can be brought all the way to here and then we could have it brought this belted up up so that will do the bones from both and then I'll just need to split the bullets and heads off of that line yeah so that'll bring the bones across here Do I want to bring it down so that we have like a space we can walk down? Or oh, no, I'll do the walkway above it. So, bone, rotten flesh, bone here. Rotten flesh there and everything else will go out the front. Leave me alone. <sighs> the pillagers. Every single time I come here, I don't understand it. They just spawn. I once had where I haven't gotten rid of the bad omen and it's come back. Leave me. Stop it. No. Okay. So let's grab some stone bricks from over here. is what it will look like. And we can fill that in now. So, I want... A 
a little bit of space so that the I can get the heads and that off and send them in that direction to the main storage. Um, yeah, this should be one block there, so that will do another brass funnel. I'll have to get all of these brass funnels and send. Let's go, yeah, it will go back underground. Once it's once it's what's going into the storage, we'll send it back underground and then all the belts will re-merge. Uh, so we'll merge with that belt and the leather once it's processed and um, then go into the storage which we're gonna put along here I'm thinking two or three high of the crude storage things so that will send it back underground and then Oh, I didn't place the sifter back up. Lol. Oh, let's move it one block. There we go. So, now that the bones are all onto one line, we go. Uh, machine. Place this here. Bring this out. So that will turn it into. Um, that will give us the the die and the. Come on, go to sleep. This will give us the dye and the bone meal. And from there we want to take oh, We'll want to take the dye underground. underground which I'll do with another split off and then the bone meal straight ahead into machines oh I don't have a press We'll go there. Trying to get these things to place properly is quite annoying sometimes come on there we go so that will bring
they will make it into bone blocks for us. Return items to toolbox and then let's go belting and no, I don't want an andesite funnel as a I might have to place a recipe full to I will I will see so that with the con uh, press should make um, our bone blocks and that will go down and then both those lines will merge with that line there and finally I will split off the rotten flesh from that line and bring it somehow under all these lines and bring it up here onto this line here. So that will bring it onto this line and then I don't know if I have the stuff to build this. Uh, let's go machines. Enclosed fan. Okay, I do. So we'll have fans that will cook the rotten flesh into leather. And then the, the leather will go off, down, and into the main storage. Now that everything's laid out, and I've shown you kind of what's happening. I am going to hook up the power, get this all moving and see where everything goes and basically finalize everything. If there's anything wrong, I will uh, change it. I'll have to get more brass funnels because I need a brass funnel here and I'll need a brass a brass tunnel for the this line and I'll get it all worked out because you don't need to see it and then I'll bring you back once it's all done okay we are back we have a windmill and a large amount of the stuff powered I haven't finished uh, I haven't even hooked up the fans or the storage system but I want to get this episode out to you it's already late so we got oh oh that over stressed it okay uh, that's fun if I just go like that That I don't know how overstressed I am. How overstressed is this? 90? I mean, it could be a little, it could be a lot. So that's disconnected. Let's disconnect that. And let's. 
I will upgrade that one more. Or put in a second one. There we go. So now that means everything should be running. Now we can watch. Makes the cobblestone, which then makes the gravel. And then the gravel turns into sand. If it doesn't turn into sand, it's turned into nothingness. And then the sand is sifted. And it, it's a very low chance, so I won't be able to show this, I don't think. But anyway, the bone meal or the rotten flesh will come here and get smelted. And the bones will come down here, across here, and into this, which is also got a supply line from our big machine. We can actually show what will happen. So the bones will come up here, and if they're not bones, they'll go down there. If they are bones, they go into here and ground up. Then the dye will go down there, and the bone meal will go into here and make bone blocks. So, if I go like this, and throw bones onto here. This should then bone meal comes out here. Am I going to have to do a bone block as a output? No, I won't. Awesome. And that's, that's the system. Uh, and then the rotten flesh gets turned into leather. And then it will also go down and underground like they are here. And then that belt, they will all connect up again somewhere here and then I'll bring them up and into the storage system here and anything that doesn't go into the storage system will fall off the edge into a lava bucket I hope the time lapse worked and that everything else in this episode was enjoyable i quite enjoyed making this it's like the biggest single contraption i've ever made and this is just the start of it all because i wanted bone to build out of <laughs> Ooh, let's let's get a thumbnail for this episode and then end off This is a quite nice point. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.